Hi my lovelies, I'm here today to do a tutorial on how you could do your own crackle polish without spending a lot of money. Now we all know that these polishes when they first come out they're expensive. I believe they're the most that I seen was maybe $8.99, almost $10 depending on the brand. And this one is from China Glaze and it's called Crack Concrete. And it's a gray one. And then, you know, different brands, they sell um, the Crackle. Pure Ice is another company that's um, doing Crackle. And this one is called... Um, well, it doesn't have a name. Pure Ice Crackle Shattered. That's all it has. I had one from Sinful Color, but I don't know what I did with it. This one, I think it was $5.99 or $4.99, depending on where you're getting it. So, my idea is to show you how to get your acrylic polish or acrylic paint to crackle and you could do any color you don't have to go out and hunt down the one they have or the ones that come out you could pick any color and we're gonna do the crackle and how we're gonna do that is with Martha Stewart's um, fine crackle effects and this is for acrylic paints and this is how it's gonna look she has, I believe, two other ones. There's a thick one and one that's more separated. But I like the one, this one, because the way it is showing on the back. So what I'm going to do is use this. And then I'm going to show you with different brands. This acrylic paint, I got it from the dollar store. This one is Martha Stewart Pearl. Um, a satin one for Martha Stewart and then Artist Loft that it's another brand that you could buy at on Michaels and these are the colors that I'm gonna use I have five colors let me do a close-up these are the five colors and starting from here it's NYC what is it um quick dry in a New York Midic color and is a quick dry one and this one is called peaches and cream and let me tell you I like that color it is so pretty and each nail has two coats and you have to let it dry completely then the green one is Sally's um, extreme wear and this one is called Ivy League. You always make sure that your nail polish is dry and they're dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply uh, acrylic paint over them and then I'll be back. Okay. So now let me give you a closer look with the peaches and cream. I put the pearl purple one with the green one I use this now you gotta be careful when you buy these because I notice yes I got a great deal but they're dry so what I did is I added a little bit of water on the brush and it did a pretty good job so I'm not gonna throw them away I'm just gonna use them okay so I let the acrylic paint dry now so what I did is that I pour some of the um, fine crackle effect on this dish. I'm using a, I think this is a number six flat. I'm not sure. I bought it in a set. I don't have no number. And what I'm going to do now is 
take some of the crackle effect and polish it over the the acrylic paint okay so I polished it and what I'm gonna do is let it dry for a couple of minutes and I'll be back okay my lovelies I'm back so I'm gonna name this video the Martha Stewart crackle failure and the reason why like it says here it's only made to do effects on projects not on your nails honeys that you could see it did do some crackling but nah it's not it's a waste of time it took almost half an hour and look nothing I tried this on top of nail polish and then the acrylic paint and then the crackle no I tried the acrylic paint as the bottom as the base I put a layer of the crackle let it dry I put the green as the the polish crack the the color to be cracked and then I put another layer and that you see after 20 minutes later it's still cracking just imagine that this is the ice one and it didn't even do anything. I don't know what the heck is going on today. So, mm, the name of this video, I was excited thinking that it will crack your polish and it'll give you a good idea. But, no, it's not. While I'm here, now you remember these little bottles that I bought at Michael's. They were on clearance for a dollar. So I was like, let me try them out and see if they work for the monomer. Same thing, failure. Look how it sits on the bottom. I think this has oil in it. So it doesn't mix with your monomer. Don't waste your time in buying it and using it as um as color art art drops. Because it's not gonna do it. Well these it has oil in it. And it stayed on the bottom. I put the green, I put a, the orange one and a blue one that I had. That you see, it's a big blop on the bottom of the dapping dish. So don't waste your time. Then I try to do a tinted nail polish failure. That you see, once again, it has oils, so it's not mixing with the nail polish. So another failure so three fails in a row let's let me do this video so everybody can know don't waste your time in this don't waste your time in this unless you're gonna use it for craft and here's another look again it really didn't do anything well luckily I didn't pay full price these go for $5.99 and I had a 40% off coupon so Anyway, I know one of my kids will have a project one day or if they have something they want to do as a as a crackle effect, they have it. Failure to this, you see the little bubbles floating there. And a monomer. Failure. So I hope this helped everybody because I know I saw a few people on YouTube saying that this thing works. Nope, it doesn't. And here's the proof. So, thank you for watching. And I had fun with this, you know. And leave comments, if any. Any reviews, any questions, leave them below. And thank you for watching. Bye.